Hi guys, Daz here with comic call number 12. And what was a slow week for me? The main reason being I'm going to the Birmingham Collector Mania Con on Sunday. I was gifted a, a free ticket from my good friend Carl, so thank you for that mate. Looking forward to that, so I'm trying to save a few pennies. And on top of that, I shall be saving for my next big boy book. And trust me, it is a big boy book. I'm quite excited to show it off. So I started off by picking up a couple of uh, DVDs last week and I managed to watch the uh, the movie and it's a fantastic one. I've got a competition going at the moment to say your favorite animated film and this one is going to run it pretty close I would think. don't know if any of you guys have seen this but this is The Suicide Squad and this is Hell to Pay on Blu-ray. What a fantastic movie. You can see some of the characters on the front there. We've got Bronze Tiger, Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, Harlequin and Copperhead. I think it's always good in these kind of movies to see characters that you don't get to see showcased very often. Copperhead was brilliant in this. There are so many characters in it. It's a really good watch. So it's brutal to be warned. Very violent. Uh, got a bit of potty mouth in it too. So uh, be warned, but it's one for the older audience and it's a great uh, watch. Also picked up the DVD box set, I'm pretty sure I might already have it, but uh, for just £2.50, the entire Iron Man animated series. So looking forward to getting through that with the kids. Okay, now on to the books. Like I say, a bit of a slow week for me, but I uh, picked up some doubles, some of which I will probably uh, give away as prizes in my next competition. But I picked up a second copy of Champions 20. Now I spoke about this in my last video. This is the first appearance of Snowguard, I believe, which is a new character coming out, a Canadian hero who can harness the powers of the animals, a bit like uh, DC's Vixen. 19 was her cameo. And I think 20, she makes an appearance, the first full appearance, I believe. I haven't read 20, but I read 19. Keep an eye out for that one, guys. It's still on, probably going to be on your shelves. 19 is quite a hot book, actually. It's more than doubled in a value already. And it was only out a couple of weeks. So it was really a, been a week for covers for me. And... Uh, had to pick up this latest Flash uh, comic. This is number 47, again, it's from that man, Matina. Look at that, the variant cover, 47. Beautiful, isn't it? I've got some, uh, uh, a bit more Matina to show you later on in the, uh, in the show. Up next, everyone's favorite artist. Uh, it's that variant Stanley Art Germ Lau cover of Black Panther 1. And I think this is the first appearance of a villain called Daud or Dude. Again, I've not read it yet. But that is a stunning piece of artwork, isn't it? My daughter uh, put me onto Art Germ long before the uh, Supergirl run, actually. She's a huge fan. Now, the cover of the year. I pre-ordered two copies, but of course, one didn't come because they cancelled the order. Just unbelievable. But this is that stunning Batgirl 23 cover from my current favourite artist, Joshua Middleton. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this book is selling up to $50 plus. I, I did try and... Uh, Tell you guys to grab one about three weeks ago. So I hope you listen to the advice because I don't think it gets any better than this, does it? Yeah, it's not going to obviously stay at $50, but I can generally believe that it's going to be at least a $15 to $20 book down the line. That's as good as it gets, guys. Again, I've got a bit more Middleton to show you later on. Now the book everybody's grabbed. Grab this on Wednesday, 
and this is the uh, this is the regular Alex Ross cover of uh, Amazing Spider-Man 800. I did ha have in my hands the one in twenty five uh, Delotto cover. They had it in there, but it had a spine tick and quite a big one. For £25, I'm not going to grab a book, a modern book with a big spine tick. So I put it back. I oomed an ad. I kind of regret it. But, uh, yeah, if you're going to spend that kind of money on a, on a new book, it's got to be minty for me. And the, this one's got a bit of a dinged up corner. I think it was uh, Jim's Comics. That said about uh, why why have they not they haven't made this book a, a square bound book I don't know, it's just a real thick book it's eighty pages I believe. But I'm uh, looking forward to reading it. Too many variants out there for me now, so uh, like I say, I'm doing away with them. I'm just grabbing the the main cover or the cover that I enjoy that from that week. Up next. Uh, is one of my uh, two favourite covers of the week. And this is that Doomsday Clock, number five. Stunning Joker art there. Really, really good Joker. That's as good a Joker cover as I've seen, I believe. And that is the uh, the variant Gary Frank cover. So hats off to you, Gary Frank. Great stuff. Like I say, I've not been following the series. I've got issue one and I've read issue one. Wasn't a bad read. But uh, there's so many books coming out, I'm just going to pick up the ones I enjoy now. Now my favourite cover of the week again was from Middleton. And this is that Hanna-Barbera crossover. And this is, this is Aquaman Jabberjaw. <laughs> Number one. Not so much a fan of the uh, shark, but that Aquaman is absolutely fantastic. Look at the water. He really is such a talented artist, Joshua Middleton. Um, him and Ben Oliver, they're my two uh, to keep an eye on. The artists that I really appreciate at the moment. And if you haven't seen some of Ben Oliver's work, Please check it out. I mean, the, the Scooby-Doo Apocalypse 23. That's a fantastic piece. Had the uh, uh, honour of meeting Ben Oliver and got him to sign uh, my uh, Flashpoint Howard Jordan a couple of years ago. So that's a nice one to have him in my PC. Now, of course, we got TV spec. This news broke middle of last week, I believe, about analog. That is going to be picked up uh, for a movie, I believe, and it's from Image Comics, and it's only been out. They're only into like issue three, is it? So, picked up two of the regulars. Cover price. I actually went into one shop and they had about ten. Well, I didn't grab more. I don't know, but I'm not greedy. Don't know too much about it. But that's the regular David O'Sullivan cover. Managed to find the uh, the B cover. This is the Declan Shelby and Jordi Belair cover. This was a nice pickup. This is a Forbidden Planet exclusive. And uh, again, it's analog number one, but this is signed. I think it cost me five pound ninety nine. If you can see the two signatures, we got. Well, I can't even see myself. We got one here, it's David O'Sullivan, and we got uh, the variant artist Stephen Mooney there. That's the cover, analog one signed. Forbidden Planet exclusive. Nice to have in the PC. I'm not sure it's got a whole lot of uh, room for growth, that, because it's like a store variant, I suppose. But uh, nice to have. 
Okay. Uh, again, bit of TV spec or movie spec, sorry. We know analog's on its way. Here it is, the B cover. I've got the A cover. That's the B cover I picked up for cover price. I just want the Virgin cover now. Like I say, that's a that's going to be a horror from Image Comics. Again, that's only into issue three or four. A few back issues, nothing major, guys. Like I say, I've, I've cut it right down this week. First off, I picked up this book for my son. Again, he had it. He's got a lot. He's probably got 70 books now. Uh, this is Uncanny X-Men 265. But this is the first appearance of Amal Farouk, who is finally called Shadow King. And can you explain 265? It's not a great copy. My boy's got the better copy. Go figure. Two pound each, these. Gave it away in my 100 subscriber contest. But this is a good book. Batman 655. First appearance of Damian Wayne. You know, Batman's boy? Or is it Deathstroke's? DNA test will reveal. So that's going to be a prize at some point. Another prize uh, I'm going to be sticking in at some point. Find this another, my third copy, I believe. Good book, though. This is the first appearance of Hope Summers. And Hope Summers made her live action debut. Spoiler in the Deadpool 2 movie as a child. So there we go. X-Men 205. That's a nice book. I can see that one heating up down the line. Let's hope Summers is eventually going to grow up. And we'll see her as a live action character, I'm pretty certain. Final pickup. I went I went to a shop in Swindon. Me and my boy had a road trip. And it was pretty much a bust. I did find one book for a pound. But I did prior to this, I found two books. And I think it was Marvel Age 82. First, like... Cameo of Cable, they wanted, and it was probably a six or seven grade, they wanted nineteen ninety nine. It's one of them shops, you take a book up, none of them are priced, and then they go online and check the prices on eBay. And it is sickening, just because they go with the top price. You know, 20 quid for a book that was pretty ratty. And then I found the first, is it Web, Web of Spider-Man 119 or 118, first Kane? So, sorry. Yeah, the Marvel Age was fourteen ninety nine, and the Web of Spider Man was nineteen ninety nine. Again, mid grade. You're having a laugh. So I left that on the way out. I saw they had a pound box. I had a quick shifty through. It's all about what you know, really. And I did manage to find this one pretty good. It's got a couple of ticks, but it's uh for those of you that don't know, this is Dark Horse presents thirty six, and this is the first time in comics. Or the first appearance of Alien vs. Predator. Yeah, that's a pretty cool book, isn't it? Alien vs. Predator. And this is a, a $15 book. Uh, on Comic Book Realm. You'll probably find it about a tenner on eBay. For quid. So I mean. They had books in their shop. Selling at crazy prices. And then a, a key issue like that for a quid. Clueless. Okay. That's the books. Like I say. Sporting the Star Wars shirt today. Oh. I went and watched uh, Han Solo the other day with the kids. Do you know what? I thought it was I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. The solo film. Um not gonna give away spoilers, but it for me, it was back to the uh, Star Wars that I I like. Uh because last Jedi I didn't particularly enjoy, and I'm a huge Star Wars fan. How can you have Luke in a film? Build up to it, and him not fight anyone, and just puff away like a like he was nothing. He was even taken down by Ray at one point. It makes no sense. He's the ultimate Jedi. Yeah, he's no timer, but he should have wiped them all out. When he walked out, I was so excited, and then that was it, gone. So, like I say, we've got Han Solo film, great cast, Ron Howard. You can't go wrong with Ron Howard. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's not Harrison Ford, so we don't get a ten out of ten from me. But there was enough in it to keep me excited. Uh, it's quite emotional emotional in parts. I give it an eight and a half. Good film. 
Okay, it's that time again, guys. It's Daz's news round. Let's get through it. Okay, there's a big Hero 6 animated uh, TV show coming to Disney, to, uh, to the Disney Channel. Uh, I'm not a big fan, for the, but for the younger audience, could be worth a watch. Deadly Class, the uh, new one from the Russos on the Sci-Fi Channel. They've replaced its showrunner. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Trailer didn't look too bad. Uh, I've been looking for a Deadly Class number one, but wow. Crazy prices at the moment. Uh, Kevin Feige has said they've been discussing another character on Marvel. And uh, this guy's thrown his hat into the ring. Orlando Bloom from Pirates of the Caribbean. Not the greatest actor, but he says he would love to be Captain Britain. Simon Pegg recently said about that as well. So uh, my good friend JPL, Flash Comics Geekdom, uh, recently picked up the first appearance of Captain Britain. That is a book that is going to grow, I think, because, like I say, that character is going to appear in some form. Maybe a TV show, more likely in the MCU at some point. Captain Britain. So, uh, like I say, Orlando Broom say he'll take the, on, he'd like to be the character, despite the terrible costume. Yeah, it's not the greatest costume. Uh, but we'll see where it goes. Okay, fans of Walking Dead, the big news this week came out that Andrew Lincoln... Is finally leaving the show uh, in season nine. He's going to appear in just six episodes. I think it was a financial dispute. Uh, but Norma uh, read us his fan favourite character, Daryl Dixon. Yeah, another Daryl. Will be elevated to show uh, to the show's lead role in a deal worth 20 million plus, apparently. Like I say, uh, I'm finally getting through Walking Dead. I'm about halfway through season one. Quite enjoying it actually, yeah. I, uh, I do like uh, Daryl Dixon's character, but it's a shame that Andrew Lincoln's leaving. Uh, Netflix is now considering the IDW Lock and Key comic book series after the Hulu dropped it, uh, and this is going to be the third pilot based on that show, that because uh, it originally came out in two thousand and eleven, then two thousand and seventeen. Let's hope it picks up. I've yet to find a copy of Lock and Key number one. Dave Batista Drax, has confirmed he is back for Avengers 4 and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. We all know nobody stays dead. But don't you think it's going to cheapen it long run? If suddenly they somehow find the Time Stone or Reality Stone or whatever they're going to use and go back in time and just save everyone. You know, I thought it was such an Im impact how uh, Loki was killed right at the start and how powerful Thanos was. You know, I've read as well that Gamora is going to come back. You know, I think I'm going to talk about this now because everyone's seen the film now. It's been out weeks. But you can't bring them all back, surely. Yeah, we, it's obvious, you know, that the ones that vaporised at the end and turned to dust, you know, with Spider-Man holding on for Tony Stark, we know he's coming back. Homecoming too, we know that. You know, so, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about people keep coming back. I get, part of me wants to see Loki again, but do we want to keep re... Well, bring him back from the dead, basically. Uh, talking of Dave Batista again. Now, this news broke on the Key Comic app uh, about a month ago, and, and this comic was going crazy, and that comic was Body Bags, number one. Nobody really knew. Why? Now we know. But it's not all good news for people holding body bags. Because uh, it's going to be an adaptation of Body Bags, and that is going to be now titled Dogtown. And uh, Dave Batista is going to play Mark uh, the Clown De Delgado. Mark, I can't even read my own writing. Is it Mark Clownface Delgado, the main character? I don't know what's going on. Right. Uh, the role of the, his daughter, Panda, hasn't been cast yet. But that's one to look out for. Uh, body bags, number one. The Crow. We all were a little bit excited for a while, especially when, for me, Jason Momoa come on board. But no, he's left now. Job done. And the director. So the reboot of The Crow is probably going to die a slow death now, which is a bit of a shame. The original was a bit of a classic from what I remember, but uh, the more they made, the worse they got. 
So I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, the Sci-Fi Channel, it's a book I've just ordered actually, has just uh, ordered the Dark Horse comic series to pilot and that is Resident Alien. Look out for that one guys, Resident Alien. I'll let you do the research because the first appearance of Resident Alien isn't in a comic called Resident Alien. That's all I'll say. But I've ordered one. It's going to be ratty probably, but, you know, it was a stock image I ordered. Uh, big news of the week. You've probably all seen it. It's going to be, Jamie Foxx has signed on to the Todd McFarlane movie to star as Spawn. And that is going to come from Blumhouse. Uh, yeah, I've seen Jamie Foxx in certain things and I've enjoyed his performances, others not at all. So it's going to be a funny one. I know this is meant to be a real horror, isn't it? Uh, could be a horror, actually. But I, mean, I like Jamie Foxx in Jang Django Unchained. I wasn't sure about his Electro in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, but we'll see where he goes. That's, that's his news round. Again, it's that time... Thank you so much to everybody who's been subscribing to my channel. This time last week, I had 200 subscribers. This time today, I've got 253. 53 in a week is incredible. So thank you so much to everybody who's been subscribing. I'm going up and up and up. Uh, probably due to the fact that, like I say, Comic Vantage sent that book for my boy because that is my most popular video at the moment. Uh, nearly 300 views. That was from last week, so... Thank you, Comic Vantage, for sending us that Stanley book. Uh, my competition, like I say, is going. 200 subscribers. I think I've got 12 entries. If I can just read you where I'm out. I've got Rogue121. Funk Off. JPL Flash Comics Geekdom. Don the Doctor. Spectacular Spider Grandpa. Uh, Matilda Gothica. Metarog. Geeky, uh, sorry, Geeky GMT. Lindsay's Geek Tech Knickknacks, Geeky Pete, Comics Addiction, and Rayman the Silencer Man. Thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, I can I wouldn't be making these videos without your support, so I really do appreciate it. As does Harlequin, Joker, Scarecrow, and my boy's my little man's favourite Zach Two Face. They've sponsored today's video. Oh, they haven't quite finished because I've got a couple of books to show you. That's coming out again. A couple from my favourite artist. Now, obviously, nothing can compare to Batgirl 23. That is the cover of the year for me. But we're gonna have a go. Okay, so a couple of books to look out for that I shall be ordering probably. Well, this one for sure, I think. Now, this is the Stephanie Hans variant cover B from Miss Marvel 31. Can you see that, guys? That's an impressive looking cover. And on top of that, it's going to be a small print run. And it's a appearance of a first it's got a first appearance of a character. Whether it's a vi villain or a hero, not sure. But that's one to look out for. And that releases on the 27th of June. Another one to look out for. Of course, uh, Matina's been smashing those flash variant covers. It's probably not got a lot of spec, but it's beautiful. And uh it's, it's brilliant for your PC. This is number 49. Again, the 27th. Look at the face on that. Spectacular. That's Flash 49. Then we've got... Yeah, we got... So we have Batgirl 23, like I said. The ma massive one. Now, 24 is out. It's good. I'm not smitten with it. I'll probably get it because it, it might follow on with a bit of the old uh, value from the 23. And this is the, the uh, Middleton 24B. This is again on the 27th of June. This pre. Not sure how I feel about splitting it though. I'm not sure. Let's we'll see how we go. I like it though. That's a good 7.5 out of 10, I reckon. And finally, we've got uh, Aquaman 37, middle turn. Aquaman swimming with... 
the whole thing. So that's the four covers to look out for from me, guys. Again, it's been a long one. I promise you I'm going to have better books next week. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.